everybody, welcome back to Greg Tech New Horizons, episode 14 with me, Sid. And uh, once again, I have been busy between episodes. I have, uh, well, I've moved the animals and I've started putting in, I won't say fancily designed things, but, uh, you know, we've got the cows, we've got the piggers. I did some infernal mob over there. I kept on fireballing me and uh, I lost quite a few cows, so... That was unfortunate. Um, chickens, I had to. They keep squeezing out of the thing, so yeah, we did that. And we've had a few manage to die by uh, squeezing in there. Sheep, all done. Um, I've got tine, which is a tier 5 crop, which is basically tin ore. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with it because it needs uh, a tin block beneath it. That is. Uh, Coupon, which is copper or block. Again, can't do anything because it needs a block of copper beneath it. Um, essence berry growing. That's to try and get the essence berry seed. And we've got this one here, which may give me a flax seed. Um, now, <laughs> that should have triggered off that but again we've got the same problem it's not growing because it it doesn't have the mbt values as best as i can tell now i don't know i didn't see anybody point that out that this was an error in the last comments but i didn't see anybody point out that it um how do we say it was correct as well now i think i have got a flax seed there and it's one so again i need to come back to the quest book and do bq admin uh, blah, blah, blah. yeah that's the one isn't it yes back so slash bq admin that didn't sound good. Edit. Then go into here. Jump back into quest lines. Back down to farming. Take that. Edit that. Requirements. Nope. Back. Tasks. Retrieve. That. Back. 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 Uh, should be able to, yeah, we can do that now. And we should be able to do BQ and edit on and claim that. Yeah, I just don't like it when I know I've completed the quest and it goes, no, you haven't. So there you go. Oh, and we've got another loot bag. What did you give me? You gave me a low voltage battery bother. A small sodium battery. Not sure whether the oh, and a solar panel. Okay, well that's uh, things. Now what I have done is I've expanded my storage. I haven't moved into my expanded storage yet. This is still oh, that does not go in there. They're very much a messy situation, but. Um, you know, it's a step in the right direction. Did I have any food in my lunchbox? I didn't. Let me just go and uh, have a bite of cake. And let me just check these. I'm sure my, uh, I've got so much food on the go at the moment that uh, I'm finding foods that I am coming through the not eaten recently buffer very rapidly so uh, take one of those we shall just pop you in there for now and let me show you what we've done so i've moved the refiner the smelter round so it now is on the inside and all feels nice that's all in there we've got things that are tinker stuff here this is a tool chest um, probably could be smaller, maybe swap them around. 
this has just got all the odds and ends and this is my quest chest uh -huh. because sometimes I need the tools so I have got in here a number of quests which we are going to tackle reasonably quickly because I don't want to be spending all of the time doing all of the things so we should be able to make 16 of those 16 of those and 16 of those and that should give me three quests grain quest which gives me a choice I will take um, fish yeah, Andrew will take the loot bag because you know why not veggie bait we'll go with the loot bag and fruit bait will go with the loot bag uh, I also got the fisherman's friend quest which I did to make the fishing rod um, so we'll take the loot bag and that gives us all of that let me just come and put some of this away now didn't I have if I have a look at the uses there three of those can become a slow food bag now what, what was that was there a good reason for that I can't remember oh I killed chickens yeah that's another thing I did quarter heart and some stuff there. Um, dark wizard. And uh, quarter heart. Lovely. Oh, and more stuff. Coir, ender thingy, and explorer. Got, let's get so much of this coinage. I will get around to using it at some point when I can figure out what I actually want to do with it. Now, the. Oh yeah, what else? Where were we? rewards area so slow food goes to hot cuisine fast food to fast food to slow food okay so i think this is what's going on here chef training is just wanting me to get stuff that's fine we'll do that at any time Fast food to slow food, we take three fast foods to get one slow food. Okay, we'll claim that. Uh, and that should give me three to get hot cuisine. So we take three of them and claim that. And then you can take six of those to get a pudding. Well, that doesn't sound very valuable at all, does it? But again, these are things. Um, So, is there any benefit for those? I generally don't know, you know. Oh. Okay, I got a bow out of that. Juice and cookies. Feast shroom stew. That, yeah, that's not. And that wow that was totally worth all of that okay I feel mildly cheated that doesn't feel like something I want I'm just going to drop these off in here we've got a few seeds we've got a bow and we've got these whatever they are so we can always pop one of those in there for now those can go in there because I really can't be bothered um, yeah that wasn't a great return on investment I don't think but it does matter because we have got more stuff to uh, trade in and I've got a massive great comment well not as big a comment as last time from C right so uh, but there was a really useful piece of information which I'm going to try and act on uh, if I just go and grab myself 
a little smooth stone. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm probably going to want that. I better carry the rest of it actually. I need a mortar and pestle. I don't think I've got one here. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, and we'll do boop and boop and boop. And then we're going to grab these and we are going to mortar and pestle. Well, that is going to, this is going to be quite an expensive quest in terms of iron. Doesn't matter. Once it's done, it's done. Then those. And those. And that should give me... Nope. Oh, I've got a couple of things to claim over there. But this should give me that which will give me a caramel apple and some more cooking things but it's more importantly it's just another distraction out of the way up there so you know i'm trying to kind of head in the direction of clearing some of these down but some of them are just very resistant to being cleared mm, which you know is one of those things i suppose but uh you can go in there i'm definitely not struggling on food anymore that is at least one major bonus uh and seeds were down here i think <coughs> pardon me um so what else have we got going on here we've got this quest here which oh and i can get rid of you we have got that, which if I go in here and do that, uh, no, if I go, <laughs> if I go in here and do that, we get myself a grafter, which, of course, you'll know is from, no, forestry. And opens up the forestry quest line for us. We've got a proven grafter out of that. And some wood. All good. But this opens up the forestry quest line, which is all nice. And it presumably wants me to get a whole bunch of saplings which we will need the grafter to get those for definite. These ones, possibly not. Okay, let's move on. Next. We can get rid of you, and we are going to make, hopefully, well, not the last hammer we'll ever need, but that is a tier four diamond hammer, which was a quest. And that will be really handy if it lasts any kind of length of time. Uh, which is that quest line there, hammer. Gives me a flawless diamond. I'm not sure what that is used for. Um, we'll put these away for now. And you can go away there. you can go in there for a while as well lovely right back and continue i'm still not sure about this i may raise that up because i don't like it and i might just raise that up and put slabs off of that one um you know when you're just looking at something and uh, think so this is a nice quick quest uh this Gets me that. So I did the quartz sand and I did the tiny pile of flint dust, combined those to glass dust, put them through the uh, thing, used my chisel to make glass, and now I've got. Take the, ch take the quest bag on that one. 
for some... Oh, I wonder. <laughs> You'll have to answer in the comments if you know the answer to this one. At least I'll have them there, so we'll just put them down there for now. I wonder if that functions the way I think that functions. Oh, we've got cookies as well. Lovely. Then we've got these, which uh, I made the fishing rod. I've made the fences. I fished a bunch of things. Um, you get different fish. So by doing that, that will give me this quest, which will give me... I think I'll take the loot bag again. Food. Better than a kick in the face. Okay, and well, what have we got left? We've got this one here, which is a whole bunch of bits. So we can get rid of you, we can get rid of you, and we can get rid of you. And we can click on you and do make me that, please. That's an ore finder. I don't know. Put the ore block you want to find in the item inventory. Shift right click on the ground to open the inventory. Now I want to... Okay. You, you have to have some first, and I don't think... I don't think I've got any casserite or... No. So it's a little bit limited, but... Um, okay, well that's the thing. Um, that should be back here, so that will give us this. Oh, 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 oh. Give me claim. So. Shift right click the ground, you can only use a finder one at a time, search, search radius. How does it work? Not entirely sure. how this works. I mean, we know this was a casserite. Hmm. I don't know. I have to... Uh, you'll need to find some first to make it, but once you have it, you can use ore blocks to find more. So it tells you the specific ore is nearby. To you, shift click when looking at the ground, then put the ore block in it. it. has a 60 block range up and down. This may miss redstone or graphite. You know, it appears to work based off of Greg Tech material. Oh, okay. So I think it looks like it, it probably just does something when you're, when you're in the area. Okay, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not sure how useful it is, but... You know what? It can sit there. And that can sit there. Uh, and that can go away, and the glass can go away, and all of these can go away, and then we'll move on to, let me just get rid of you, the last item which we have to construct, which is the steam macerator. Um... Now, I wanted to do the steam macerator before I did the steam compactor, compressor, or the steam extractor, 
just because this will allow me to double everything. It'll give me some jelly beans, which I think are largely irrelevant for me. Um, but I should be able to, hopefully, wrench that up, put the macerator down to macerate some iron to double it, because see where I gave me a piece of advice, and it's going to be expensive in the terms of iron. Um, and the piece of advice was a railcraft. Uh, there we go. A railcraft. So. Output facing up. I think that's what we did, wasn't it? Okay, we'll put you away somewhere safe for now. Uh, have a quick snooze. And I'm going to macerate up a whole load of iron because we're going to go and push, well, first things first, before we push anything else, there were a couple of quests in here that we've completed. There's other stuff as well. Uh, a few minutes before, blah, 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 blah. Tetrahedra in the nether can be found with copper. Okay, that's fine. I don't think we need to do anything more with that. Uh, that one is compact drawers, which, yeah, I'll do at some point. That's just wood. That one is a whole lot of things. So I need 100 raw chicken, 100 feathers, and all sorts of stuff there. <coughs> That's just uh, more stuff. This is, um, yeah, we're back there. However, we have inadvertently completed this one. So, copper ore berries. Uh, blah, blah. Please can be found. Uh, foot long or loot bag. I am going to go with copper ore berries. Because. And... Iron ore berries, because, oops. So that's all, this Stone Age one is getting very close to complete. And we've, I think now got all of the stuff. We will be doing something with these. So that's a, that's a given. Um, but, oh, hello. Uh, I think that was whatever my morning uh, effect was wearing off. Where we are going to go next is here, and we are going to go to the multi-block iron tank. And we need 30 of those, two of those, two of those. It'll give me some more stuff, or gold or berries, which is probably where we will go. But this apparently is the way to go for steam, because... It is. Uh, it allows you to run your steam boiler continuously and it fills the steam tank up and, and yeah. Um, so, I want to go there and first things first, we shall place these away for use later. I'm going to put my food away and uh, I'll be back in a moment. All right, well, the macerator definitely works. I've got two crushed brown limonite ore there, which I can cook down, or, but you can't smelt it in the smeltery. That's interesting. Um, you can sag mill that. You can macerate that to impure. There's a chance of malachite. So you can macerate those again with a 10% chance of getting some more out, which kind of makes sense. Now we are starting to get steamed a nice steam of head of steam up here. So I'm going to macerate all of this down. It does mean I'm potentially going to have to cook it using, well, you know, charcoal or something. 
how primitive. Um, but I suppose we can always set that running, making myself some more charcoal while we're at it. That can be ticking away. And, uh, well, let's stick a, stick a few of these in. Let me stick seven, um, just the first seven in. I don't, I don't know how this is going to be quite noisy, by the way, as well. So, uh, I'll not be recording for long on this, but definitely up to temperature. Um, oh, it stops after a while, thankfully. So, yeah, I mean, it's early, it's steam, it's probably not the most exciting thing on the planet. Um, I mean, you know, when you consider a normal vanilla model. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Alright, I've done um, one stack of iron. Um, one stack of iron will get me, not quite with that hammer, but if I use that one, that will get me 32 of these. Now, let me get rid of you and go and get the iron tank. Uh, let's take that off. Tank wall. So that will get me 16 tank sides. But I also need two of those. And two of those which is going to require some more finagling so definitely two stacks of iron to make 64 of those will get me 32 iron sidings and there's no point faffing around uh, i suppose i could save save myself Four, couldn't I? So I could do 28 on the next one. I've got another batch of this stuff um, pulverizing, uh, and I'm not pulverizing this because it's only a 10% chance of getting a, a small amount of copper, and I'm not shy of copper at the moment, so I can't see the point in min maxing that. I can, however, see the point of min maxing my coal and pulverizing that because. I've been mining it down and getting more coal out of the uh, out of the ground. But if you pulverize coal, you will get four crushed coal ore uh, with a ten percent chance of lignite and um, you know a, a fifty percent chance of getting some stone or marble dust, or depending on what your ore is. Uh, in fact, looking at that, oh, oh, that was end, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably why that's so uh, generous. Similarly, nether. Okay, that's fine. However, that you can then pulverize down for impure with a chance of lignite coal dust, which that does smelt a little bit of stuff. But more importantly, that stuff you can wash. And according to the comments, when you use the... Um, cauldron to wash things you can chuck a stack in and it will do a stack at a time you don't have to do it one at a time which makes very little sense in terms of typical minecraft uh, thing but there we go right what have we got ow 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 that's what i want now i'm gonna have one of these if i can Oh, it's um, it's a play on who from the jig, isn't it? Yeah, the uh, what's a the jig thing, my Bobby Hoofer. Right, what do I do with my or berries? Put them somewhere. That is really unpleasant. <laughs> Well, 
I've got no idea what I did with my ore berries. Mm, are they over here? Well, there's... Did I? Hang on a second. Let me just come back in here and look at this. I've already completed that. Now, I've got a strong suspicion that if I edit that, it is... It's going to potentially things. But we do need to go back in there. We need to edit you. Tasks. Retrieval task. There. Back. 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 Yeah, I think that has reset that, hasn't it? And actually consumed my thing. So I need to also control click that there. And I want. Damn it, I did not mean to do that. I want my essence berries. Oh, okay. That's fine, I think. There we go. That. I think I've lost a few there. Doesn't matter. Um, well, we didn't actually think I just need to control. No, control click that back to there. And we can have our stuff. Again, that was just. What's in my icy. Oh, what do we get? More trees. Um. It's really unpleasant, and those are my berry seeds, which can go in there. I need to stand away from that. That is really, really unpleasant. So that takes us to copper ore berries. I haven't got enough to complete that because obviously I have the uh, thing, and I need to, um, yeah, do that thing. But that's another job out of the way anyway, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to continue on processing this iron. Be back in a bit. So I've made one minor mistake. Um, and this, um, I'm on the next day now. This is slow going. This thing is slow. But this stuff goes to push iron ore. Um, and crushed iron ore... Um, smelts to nuggets and not ingots. Now we are getting slightly more per because you get 10 nuggets per or rather than 9 which you know means that you get a little teensy weensy bit more iron out of it. Um so I've got really two choices at that stage. Do I cook the crushed iron ore or do I run it through again, take the small number of malachite I get and then take slightly less. I'm trying to think if it's one per there for every nine. So I'm probably getting about maybe five or six extra ingots of iron, which I've already doubled it. So... 10 extra to onto maybe in the total. Uh, yeah, I'm in I'm in two minds about which is the better me mechanism. I mean, on the plus, plus side, this is actually quite fast compared to that. So running the iron through again is definitely going to be 
more things. Now I have got 60 iron plates. I need to get um, 60 iron screws and that will give me everything I need to make the 30 um, bits I need. Yeah, that's it. The 30 bits I need. So I'm going to get those screws put together. Um, I have got plenty of iron pre-cooked anyway and I think there should even be probably a little bit over here. So looking yeah, reasonably forward, thinking I've got another 60, uh, what's it, uh, nuggets there as well. So let me carry on. I'll be back in a little while. And like that, I've gone through about four files, about four saws. Um, yeah, and uh, so it's just I'm kind of trying to always make sure I've got at least one of these things going on ahead of myself. And that is a screwdriver. So, oops, hello. And that is three stacks of iron just gone plus the additional stackage of iron for things but there are 30 iron wall tanks which i will not want to do on a regular basis uh certainly not with the technology we've got currently and yeah that's a thing now Let's go back over here, go back to the steam, no, not the steam, multi-blocks, multi-multi-block goals, go for this one, and I've got those. So I need these next, which means I need two large bronze, got one, <laughs> okay, that's the step. Incidentally, I am, um, I'm running this again because there's a 10% chance of nickel um, out of this, and that is something we potentially want so I'm yeah I'm running running that for the sake of that one that has still got plenty of coal hasn't it yes yes yes, yes. okay so let's get rid of you and work out how to make this iron plates more iron plates okay one two three four one, two, three, four for the thingies. Yep, okay, that's fine. The thingies, that's a technical term, by the way. Uh, so two of those. Four of those. Two of those. Getting better at this, starting to, oh, hello starting to get an appreciation of and get put you away while I'm at it actually no I'll keep you I need you on me uh, and glass panes saw with glass Do -do. one yeah because that's how you make glass in real life isn't it you saw a block of glass in half uh, okay, yeah, well, I suppose it is what it is, and we need to make those. Okay, and then this one needs iron bars, so I need two... Hang on. Hang on, uh... So I need 12. They are not mucking around with the cost of these recipes, are they? 12 of those. And... Hammer. Okay, actually, no, I didn't need that many. Oh, well, doesn't matter. I only needed two, didn't I? Not that. Yeah. For some reason, I thought I needed six. Mental brain fart there, but it doesn't matter. I only need two, which means two of those can just be 
put away for the time being. Uh, I'm going to need four of the screws though. One, two, three, four. So again, back with that. Then that. Then that. So four of those, two of those, and this one is bronze. Okay. That should be. Well, that's interesting. What have I done with? I keep doing this. There you go. Twelve. And the recipe for that was hammer and wrench. Okay. Do do do. Hammer. And wrenchy boy makes another one of those, which takes us to here. Hang on, that's oh crap, that's what. <laughs> oh man, okay, that's going to take a lot more bronze, isn't it? I need one more of those. Let me get that together, be back in a moment. All right, and that is the last piece of that, which. Oh, thank you. Uh, go with the gold. And I think that will put us in... We are going to need more of this pipe, I think. Small bronze fluid, but it is ticking along at the moment there. And... Uh, Need to pop you away. Yeah, food. Do do. What shall we eat? Uh. So I'm not gonna. That's definitely not a. Not eaten recently. Let's have a foot long. Get one of them down the neck. Uh, my favourite, one of my favourite uh, things going down in a subway, get a foot long steak and cheese. Nobody else raves about the meatballs, but not me. Uh, steak and cheese all the way. Right, so what we need to do, I think. Hmm. take that out so that finishes for the time being now I have a worry <laughs> which is that I might blow this up um, this is how do I put this this is a very real worry <laughs> uh, how much have I got in the way of pipe I have Small bronze fluid pipe. I have the one. I'm going to need more than that, aren't I? 800, small bronze, 800 litres per second. That's fine. That's coming off of here now. If I disconnect that, I'm going to take the coal out. And I don't want to do this. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. And then we're going to come back here. Take out these. These blocks. I'm going to stick a valve there. This is a what a 
Heights four, diameters three. So I'm going to assume we're going for a three. Mobs can't spawn on the blocks, so this is all good. Um, that will go there. Now, if I go another eight. Actually, no. So if we put that there, that there, then that goes like that. Okay, yep, yeah, so it's a... Oops, hello. And then... And there's our steam flooding in. Excellent. And then we can pop that back in there and let it do its thing. Hopefully. Oh, that, yeah, that's just going to drain in there very rapidly, isn't it? And get all of the steam. Okay, so then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want, well, for starters, we'll probably just put one there. So I've got one two three four five i need five of those the recipe for those is uh, for six that's actually not too bad so that will give us what we need so you can leave this thing filling excellent well Let's see, apparently that will come in really handy at um, future, throughout, I think, uh, see what I said, even as far as uh, medium voltage. So, you know, I'm all in favour of things being handy. Uh, let me just grab 12 of those. Uh, diamond hammer doesn't seem to have as much durability as you would like. Although, yeah, not too bad on the bronze. Okay. And if I want that, take you out, that will give me that, that can come out and we should be good to start plumbing this back in again, with a bit, a wee bit of luck. So yeah, let me uh, sort that out and I'll be back in a second. All right. <clears throat> The steam is coming in. We have got our impure pile of iron dust, um, which, <coughs> pardon me, I can cook into iron ingots. However, there is another. So I'm kind of getting to grips with all. Oh, <laughs> grips is possibly a very strong word. I, I'm coming to kind of understand a little bit more about this. So, that I can only cook in a furnace. But, hey, one stack washed, lovely, thank you. This stuff I can cook in a smeltery, so I can use my super smeltery technology. It's a subtle difference, you know, lava versus coal and um, stuff, but uh, you know what, I'm happy with that. In Dvays, on that note, I think we have pushed reasonably far into our um, progress. I mean, we've got super duper steamy over there doing this thing, filling up, all nice. We've got plenty of steam to go, so, you know, that should last us. And uh, I think I only need Two whole melons, and I mean whole melons, you know, not two melons worth, but whole melons. So, to finish off the melony, and oh, there we go, there's the two whole melons. Uh, the melony pumpkin -y quest, and, uh, and we can finish 
finish on a high note of, you know, the Melony, Melony, not Melony, but Melony, Pumpkiny Quest. There you go. That's what we wanted. They can go away there, and that should be, and I believe we are into the farming line. This one. <sighs> Got to be glowstone, because until I go to the nether, I don't have a, uh, a source of glowstone. So that is that. Yay, glowstone for the win. Oh wow, I'm, I'm actually pumpkin down now. Oh, there's melon. So, on that note, uh, uh, we are going to get ourselves. Mm, let's have a nice screenshot like that, perhaps. Uh, we shall pop the rest of that glowstone up there. You can go there. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Bye for now.